Uh, hometown race here at Millville. I uh, woke up this morning in my own bed, uh, walked out to the pro pits here, and I uh, ended up being third fastest in practice, I believe. So it's a good day. Uh, looking forward to the motos and trying to get on the top step of that box. I had a lot of fun out there, was whipping it pretty good off of the Chatapult today and the uphill triple, so ready to bring that flow and uh, have some fun in the race. I'd say the biggest advantage of being at my track is it's just, um, I rode here my whole life, so it's that comfort feeling and I know the lines and I know how things are going to be, so it definitely helps out quite a bit. I mean, this is the Martins turf and um, we were thinking about how many thousands of laps Jeremy has done on this track in his lifetime. So yeah, good vibe under here. He didn't fill me in um, on any secret lines, but I'm gonna maybe call him and practice, because I know he's got them. They're booked in that bag of secrets. Yeah, uh, we're about ready to head into racing here, and hopefully the next time I see you guys uh, for the interview, I'll be on the top step of the podium uh, doing something cool. I don't know how I'm feeling. The track looks pretty epic. I've never been here. That looks like uh, it's pretty legit. So just warming up, getting ready for a beautiful day. I thought he looked real comfortable. He's, his goal today is just to have fun. Uh, and it's redemption time. And as long as he's ready to redeem himself and have fun, then, then we're good. Yeah, being my home track, you know, I've grown up and I've helped my dad get the event ready. I've weed whacked, I've mowed, I've fenced, I've done everything um, that a promoter would do, need to do to get a facility ready for a national like this. And now I'm on the other side and I just showed up and I'm racing and uh, riding the track today and I get to see the whole complete opposite side of it now. So it's pretty cool to see both sides of the spectrum and uh, to be out here racing. Yeah, Cooper and I are teammates here on the on the, on the Yamahas, and uh, things are good, you know. He's a rookie, I'm a rookie. Um, he had a great amateur career, and I came on stronger towards the end of my amateur career, and we're both out here trying to give it everything we got, and we've both done pretty good this year. The Martin Brothers. This is, this is their place. <laughs> it's awesome. Use a home track to your advantage. This is Jeremy Martin right there, 77, my plash, Yamaha. Let's go racing in Millville. And it's going to be Will Hahn again. Another hole shot. But guess who's right with him? Jeremy Martin, the home track specialist, literally is right there in the 77 and trying to go for the lead. but actually gained on Will Hahn, and you couldn't throw a blanket. You could throw a handkerchief over the top three. Look at there. You know if Martin takes the lead here, this whole place is going to erupt. And the crowd comes to life. They pop back into view, and they see Martin, the Minnesota native, in the number one spot for the first time. First moto here at Millville. It was honestly awesome. One of the best races, the best race I've had so far this season. Um, led for a little while. Um, the fans were behind me 100%. Probably one of the coolest fans I've ever had. Uh, when I passed through the lead, everyone was cheering for me. So uh, it's it it pretty cool. And how about this? It's not a victory, but it's still darn impressive. Jeremy Martin finishes second at what is, yes, literally, I've got to use the word literally, his home race. Home track or not, I just say win it. Being in the lead's fun. I miss that. I haven't, haven't been in the lead since the amateur ranks, and man, that was a good feeling. <laughs> I was like probably around 15th, I guess, and ate crap in the notorious whoops and mangled my bike pretty bad. The bars were down here, upside down, broke some stuff, so. I'm not happy with my day, but uh, I guess I'm fortunate to be 100%, and you know, I learned a lot, I guess, again, and honestly, I'm pissed off of not being where I should be, and. I guess 
I guess I'm just ready for, for whatever comes, and I've had a lot of ups and downs so far this season, but I guess just keeping my head straight and, and giving 100% every weekend, and that's really all you can do. So I'm ready for redemption the next or at Unidoa.